Hi, Exagon, and welcome to this Inspired Training video. Today, we're going to discuss frame alignment portable arms. First, inside of the software, I'm going to begin measuring features using the Smart Feature option. Now, I'm going to take my arm from the home position and begin measuring a planar surface on the top of my part. Okay, now that I have the plane, I'm going to swipe right to accept that. Next, I'm going to measure a large circle in the center of this plane. And now I'm going to measure two lines on the side. The first two points determine the positive direction of the vector of that line and will be beneficial later when we create our frame alignment. Next, I'm going to touch the top surface of my plane, swipe left to deactivate, and then I'm going to measure a plane located on the side simply using the Smart Feature option built into the software. And then I'm going to measure a circle on this plane. After I'm done, I'm going to swipe right to accept. And now I'm going to go back to my top surface, reactivate my plane by swiping left. And then now I'm going to measure two additional circles. And we can see these two circles will be projected to plane one. Now I'm going to place the arm back in the home position. I'm going to move into my view a little bit more. And now I'm going to go to alignment, create frame alignment. First, I'm going to select my primary, which is my plane one. My secondary is going to be my line two. And my tertiary is going to be circle one. Now that this is complete, I can select fit selected or fit all. And it's going to view all of my features in the main graphical view. I'm going to rotate and now I'm going to focus on my frame alignment that was just created. Next, inside the properties, I can expand the details down where I can change my primary and my secondary. So I'm gonna change my secondary to a positive Y and we can see it updated in the main graphical view. Now, I can go back to my properties of the frame alignment. I can remove circle one as my origin, click on pick, and then now I can choose the circle located on the side plane. This will automatically update the frame alignment and now I can go back and I can add offsets. So I'm gonna put in 25, I can hit tab to accept. And we can see now it's shifted positively in the X direction. I can enable project a primary and we will see that move to the plane one. Thank you for watching and we hope you were inspired.